Hi, welcome. In this session, let us see how we can create a project in PyCharm with virtual environment. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So people who work with Python projects mostly work with the virtual environment in their local system so that um, they can have separate libraries and all for their development environment. They don't want to mix up with the base Python. So creating a virtual environment with PyCharm is pretty straightforward. We can also do the same thing from the command line, but since we will be working with the PyCharm IDE, we, we can see how to create a virtual environment from the PyCharm itself. This is the starting page of the PyCharm when you open PyCharm and from this page, you can do a create new project or you can do a open project. If you already have a project running, you can do a open project and you can go to that project or you can also pull down the code from the version control servers like GitHub or Bitbucket. So let us let us go ahead and create a new project for our PyTest automation. So once I click on the create new project, I am presented with a path. This is the path which I mostly work with C colon slash Python workspace. I want to keep all the Python code in some kind of centralized location. So, so and then this is the path you can provide the this is the path C colon slash Python workspace. We can give a folder name for our project like uh, PyTest automation. I'll just name it as PyTest Automation. Later also we can change it. And this is the project interpreter option, which Python version your project is going to use. You can select that option in here. And this is going to create a virtual environment using virtual ENB library, which comes by default with your Python installation. So in my case, my base interpreter is Python 3.8, which I have selected here. And this is the folder path for Python 3.8. I also have other Python versions in my system like uh, I have uh, Python 3.6, Python 2.7 as well in my system but I'm going to select Python 3.8 as my base uh, version. So, so based on Python 3.8 our virtual environment will be created and you have other options like inherit global site packages. What this is going to do is it is going to import or inherit all the packages and libraries from this Python uh, base Python, Python 3.8. I'm not going to select this because I just want to start with a clean Python for my virtual environment. And then uh, there is an option of make available to all projects. We, we will not select these two options. Also, you can use the system interpreter, the existing interpreter. For example, you can directly use the main interpreter in your system instead of creating a virtual environment. And this uh, radio button, if you select, then it is going to use the base Python. It's not going to create a virtual environment. So in my system has other Pythons like 3.6, 2.7 and 3.8. So I'm going to use this new word environment and then I'm going to select the base interpreters. In case if you don't see all these options in here, you can go ahead and click this button to select the path of your Python installation and then you can get all these uh, base interpreters drop down or populated here. So I'll go ahead and create our new project with the virtual environment. So this is going to take a few minutes because it's trying to create the virtual environment and all the other required python libraries for our virtual environment it is created so if you see here uh, now our project is created and if you open up this one you will see that our virtual environment also got created here so it has got all the python's required libraries and scripts you can go ahead and create projects and packages from here you can right click on this pytest automation and new and let us go ahead and create a python package let us put something like um pytest underscore topics so we created a folder pytest topic so init underscore underscore dot py got created since we have created this as a python package so let us go ahead and add a new python file you can right click on this folder and then new and then you can select python file i'll just name it as first program and double click on this python project you can also hit enter and this will create a first program python file here so we can just do print hello hello pycharm hello pycharm project and we can save it as control s and you can also do a save all from the file and save all control s so if you see here down below there is a terminal here which will already have the virtual environment enabled if you do a python minus v here you will see that you have the same version as the base python python 3.8.4 and then you also have a python console by default when you click on this tab so by default the python 3.8.4 or the virtual environment 
this python virtual environment python is enabled here you can do some minor works in here with python you whatever python command say for example i want to do hello and hit enter and you should see that so these are all additional benefits of using an ide you can access the python console directly from here or you can also access the terminal from here so this is useful when you want to run some scripts and all from the command line of, of course you can right click on this program here and you can run this program run first program if you see here here the run first program here you can click on this and it's going to run this program hello pycharm project it got printed and you will see that a uh, new new tab here run here which uh, came up after i ran this program and also you can run it from here say for example i want to run this python first python and then we have a folder pytest topics and first program.py and which is also going to give me the same print hello pycharm project that's all in this video i hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching and please do leave a comment below about this video thank you